In 2022, there are over 50 million creators making money doing what they love. And you can too. Creators like you are rebels of the cause, on a mission to create a vision, take back control, and share your passion by building a business on your own terms. So how do you do it? I'm Christy from Team Kaya. At Kaya, we're here to help you build your creator business with the power of Google. In just a few clicks, you can design a beautiful Kaya storefront to centralize your business, get discovered, and make more money. In this series, the Kaya team will be sharing tips on growth strategies, monetization, NFTs, and more. Our first video is all about how to build your creator business on your own terms. So where do you start? We're gonna break it down into three steps, defining your goals, building your website, and finding your people. Also, stick around for our final extra tip. Step one, define your goals. Doing things on your own terms is all about freedom and independence. You are your own boss. You make the rules. So take a second to ask yourself, what would your ideal creator business look like? How about in three years? Close your eyes and really visualize it. What's your community like? What impact has your business made? What achievements have you reached? Keep in mind, we're in a new era where you don't have to have a million followers in order to be successful. Creators stay with as little as a thousand true fans are creating thriving businesses. Next, reflect on how you wanna make money as a creator. There are so many options out there, digital products, physical products, consulting services, the list goes on. So choose three to four revenue streams that feel exciting to you. Spoiler alert, there will be another video in this series that'll break down a few possible avenues. Also, when you think about revenue streams, make sure in all of your goal setting that you're being true to you. It's great to look to others for inspiration, but don't compare their goals or success to your own. What do you truly want? Now, take this vision and break it down into annual goals, quarterly goals, and actionable steps. Step two, build your website. Creators today are scattered across many platforms, whether it's content on social, streaming on Spotify, or e-courses on Teachable. But on your website, you control the narrative, vibe, and design to express your unique brand. It's one central location that acts as your home base for your whole creator business. Now, this might have sounded like a commercial from 2005, but believe it or not, building a website in 2022 is honestly a power move and foundational to building success, wait for it, on your own terms. If you house your business on a social platform instead, you might not have as much control. One day they could decide to change an algorithm or shut down the platform and there goes your business. With that said, another great website benefit is you can build an owned audience, AKA an email list, instead of renting your audience from social media. So if that social platform does go away, you won't be losing all your followers because your biggest fans will still be connected with you directly. And you might've guessed it, one of the easiest ways to get started with a website is to use Kaya. In as little as 15 minutes, you can customize your brand, aggregate your products and links from anywhere on the web, and easily collect email addresses all on one beautiful storefront. You can click the link in the description to get started. And please let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Step three, find your people. Okay, you have a plan, you have a website, but how do you find your people on your own terms? Well, they say your vibe attracts your tribe, but it's a good move to add some strategy to make sure you find each other. First, use the power of Google. Take control of your brand and maximize your discoverability through Google Search SEO, Google Discover, Google Shopping, and the YouTube Merch Shelf. Many entrepreneurial creators also use Google Ads and YouTube Ads to grow their email lists and sales. For SEO tips on how to make your web content more discoverable, we've linked one of our guides in the description below. Second, create a social strategy. To really use social media on your own terms, you gotta be strategic. There are so many amazing platforms to find and connect with your people. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Discord, the list goes on, but you don't need to be on all of them. Just choose the ones that make sense for you. That as Marie Kondo says, sparks joy for you and your community. And at the same time, you can use your Kaya store link, which is your name dot channel as your link in bio. So you continuously funnel your social audience to your email list products in a space that you control. Before we go, we have one final tip to share. While building your creator business is filled with freedom and possibility, it can definitely be overwhelming, especially if you're operating as a solopreneur. So most importantly, take care of yourself and avoid burnout by creating a content plan so your content creation feels fun and manageable. Always remember that you're not alone and there are incredible resources available like this Google for Creators channel and educational creators like Indiepreneur, 
and the future that offer in-depth e-courses, group coaching, and supportive communities to help you grow your business. And if the workload becomes too much, check out Upwork or Fiverr, where you can hire talented freelancers to help with visual art, marketing, or social media at an affordable cost. Be sure to click the link below to sign up for Kaya so you can build your creator business with Google. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel for more helpful creator tips. Be sure to join us in our next video, seven ways to diversify your creator income. See you there.